All right, so I'm going to show you default server box, and then I'm going to take a minute to show you about <laughs> Buff.io scanners, because somebody just emailed me and's like, what, how, how do scanners work? So I'm just going to add that on, and you can watch it or not. But, or maybe I should make that its own video, but default serve mux. So sometimes you see stuff like this. HP listen and serve, 8080 nil, right? And we just did, we just did this example right here, new serve mux, right? Where we're like, create a new serve mux, get our mux, add handle to it, add handle to it choose the route, right? That's what a multiplexer does, a route, and then it goes and handles it. And then depending upon what route is chosen, right? If it's dog, then it's going to run this code here. And if it's cat, it's going to run this code here. And if I have forward slashes there, I'll catch anything after forward slash dog, forward slash, right? So anything after the route. And, uh, and then we pass our mucks in here to the handler. But sometimes, right? So now we're going to learn about default, default serve mucks. That, did I say that right? That sounded kind of jumbled. We're going to learn about default serve mux. And to make that code default serve mux, I don't have to create a, a serve mux. You ready? Watch. I don't have to create a serve mux. So this line is gone. Three, two, one. Line 22 is gone. All right? I no longer need to create a serve mux. And instead of right here where I had my mux, right? My mux used to be there. I already had nil, nil there. Right there where I had my mux, I pass in nil, and I just use HTTP, because look at this. And I'm just noticing up here that I have the gorilla mux coming in. That's not the mux I want. But HTTP handle. So this means use the default serve mux. And if you go and you look at the documentation, right here up at the very top of the package, it says, listen and serve starts an HTTP server with a given address and handler. Give an address and handler. The handler is usually nil, which means to use default serve mux. Uh, handle and handle func add handlers to default serve mux. Huh? Well, look at the doc. Go ahead. Question? So, what does the default serve mux do then? It's just a serve mux in the background. So, instead of having to add, this line, instead of having this to be mux, instead of having this to be mux, instead of this having to be mux, and instead of having to do mux colon equals uh, HTTP default uh, new serve mux, instead of having to do that, I don't need to type in that line, and I don't need to pass anything in there. And it could just be nil. And here, I just make both of those HTTP. So let me show you in the documentation how that works. So if we create our own serve mux, go back all the way to the top. If we create our own serve mux, then we get a pointer to a type serve mux, and we have this method available. All these methods are available to us. But we've been using handle to set the pattern and the handler. We are going to learn about handle funk in a few minutes. But we use handle to set the pattern and the handler. right? And then there's also this one handle funk we're going to learn about in a minute. But look at this. We scroll up to the top of the package. We have handle and handle funk. So we're going to learn about this one in a second. But right now, handle, we have handle here. And we also have handle right here. This handle is attached to a pointer to a serve mux. This handle, same name, but different. Handle registers a handler for the given handler in the default serve mux. Not just a serve mux you've created, but the default serve mux. So it's one that's already like a lot of the work's been done for you behind the scenes. And that's handy to understand that process. And let me, let me tell you why it's handy. Two things. One, here I'm using HTTP, I'm using handle from the HTTP package. I'm not using handle from a pointer to a serve mux, like if I had created my own, like we did right here. All right? Created my own, and I'm using handle attached to a pointer to type serve mux. All right? So that's handy. You write a little bit less code. 
And what's also handy, what the heck was red up there? I don't know why that keeps coming in. I'm going to delete Gorilla right now because I don't ever use it. And I'm going to break some code, but I could just re-import it. Gorilla serve mux. There we go. Bye. Um, that's also handy because we could do this. There are third-party serve muxes. Okay? So we could go to, well, we're at GoDoc. And the cool thing about GoDoc is it has the standard library and third-party packages. And we could search for server. Also, instead of having to write all your own, or serve, things, or mux, or HTTP router. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Thank you. I'm looking for HTTP router, right? And here's Julian Schmidt HTTP router. So this is a really popular router. Why is it popular? Because it kicks ass. I have no idea why it's better. Julian Schmitter, HTTP router, benchmark. Right? But if you go here and you look at the benchmarks, and you scroll down, and you look at, like, here's the HTTP router, and I don't know which is which there, but HTTP serve mux. So this is, like, the one that comes in the standard library. The number of uh, nanoseconds per operation, so 706,000 versus HTTP router, 15,000, right? And this has, I don't know what that does, but anyhow, it's better, it's faster. And you've got a little added functionality. So a lot of people like it. It's really popular. What's it called? Julian Schmidt HTTP router. So, but, but check this out. This is what you could do with that. Instead of like doing my HTTP new serve mux and getting a mux, I could use Julian Schmidt's code. So if I look at Julian Schmidt's code, all right, and look at the index, I call from his code new and it gives me to a pointer to a router. And then I have all these methods attached to that router, all right? Including handle, where I give it a method and then I give it a path and I give it the handle so it's slightly different or handler method path and the handler but it's the same kind of idea here because if we have all if and look at this method right there what's that method tell you what's that method tell you that I highlighted I heard it over on that side of the room. It's a handler, right? Because it has that method, it implements the handler interface. Because the handler interface, just in the standard library, the handler interface says if you have this method, so that name and those arguments, if you have a method with that signature, which this one does, serve HTTP, that signature, then you're implementing the handler interface. So that means that I could create a new HTTP router, and HTTP comes from here, that's the import. Give me a new one, gives me the router. I could have called this mux if I wanted, I just called it R, right? And then I could set pass on it, and I could also set which method. That's a cool thing about Julian Schmitz. You can't do that with default serve mux, you can't do that with new serve mux from the standard library. But Julian Schmitz has this git method right here attached to the router. So I could do r.git and then pass in the route and which function to use to handle it. And here r.git, pass in the route, and I could also have variable names there. Right? So if it's hello and name Todd or hello and name Nina, it'll then print out the name. And uh, so there's added functionality. And then it calls the corresponding function. And we'll learn about these types of functions, functions with these signatures in a minute. And then we just do HTTP listen and serve. This is from the standard library. So we're using code from different packages, right? And we pass in that because that this wants a handler. And then listen and serve will use that handler. Whoa, very modular. Plug and play, right? So that's why it's cool knowing about the default serve mux and knowing about creating 
you know, your own serve mux and being able to go and find a third party one and use that and just plug it in. Anybody have comments or questions? <laughs>